Welcome back guys. This is Ashwin here. In this video we are going to solve the problem greedy florist. A group of friends wants to buy a bucket of flowers. The florist wants to maximize his number of new customers and the money he makes. To do this he decides he will multiply the price of each flower by the number of that customers previously purchased flower plus 1. The first flower will be the original price 0 plus 1 multiplies the original price. The next will be 1 plus 1 uh, multiplies the original price and so on. So uh, the next will be 2 plus 1 the original price. Like that it will go. Given the size of the group of friends, the number of flowers they want to purchase and the original prices of the flowers determines the uh, minimum cost to purchase all the flowers. The number of flowers they want equals to the length of the CRA. So here uh, they want to purchase uh, 4 flowers and this is the price of the flowers 1, 2, 3, 4 and here uh, the number of people uh, wanted to purchase is uh, K. So the length of uh, C is 4 so, so they want to buy 4 flowers total. Each will buy 1 of the flowers price 2, 3, 4 at the original price having each purchased x equal to 1 flower the first flower in the list c of 0 will now cost current purchase plus previous purchase multiplies c of 0 so 1 plus 1 multiplies 1 before that it was 0 plus 1 multiplies some original price so now it is 2 so the total cost is 2 3 4 it's already occupied now for this one they have to do this computation and the total price is 2 so the total uh, cost is 11 like that we have to return the result let's see some constraints here it can go up to 100 and c of i is 10 to the power of uh, 6 so that's the range and answer can go up to 2 to the power of 31 i think it should be lesser than that now here you can able to see for the sample input uh, they have three flowers and three friends are there. So you can able to purchase uh, two, five and six in a straight shot. So it will be $13. Again here uh, we have uh, three flowers and two friends. First they will purchase five and six and the second time uh, they have to do the computation. So one plus one multiplies two equals $4. So the total will be 15. So 6 plus 5 is uh, 11 and uh, again 4 is 15. So we will return 15. Now again in the last one, 5 flowers are there and 3 friends are there. In the first iteration we will be having 5, 7 and 9. We will be adding that first. And uh, for the remaining flowers it will be 2 multiplies 1 and uh, 2 multiplies 3. So it will be 2 and uh, 6. So that is mentioned here. So this is 6 and this is 2 and the total is 29. So you can able to clearly see a pattern here. First they are just uh, going in a reverse order. So adding these three uh, first and uh, when the number of uh, count is greater than k means they will increment uh, some count like here in this formula by 1 and they will just add this uh, prices to the list. That's how it will work. Let's uh, dive into the code and uh, maybe let's track the problem with some example. First we have to initialize the result. So first will be cost. I will initialize it uh, by 0. Second will be length. The length will be length of C array. And uh, we have to go with 1. So this is that formula. Uh, here you can able to see initially it is 1 and after that we are incrementing it by 1 so it will be 2 like that we will go so now we will go into the main logic before that we have to sort the array in descending order as you can able to see the flowers uh, can be in different range or uh, it may not in sorted order so we will go from reverse from uh, decreasing order so for that c dot sort reverse equals true so this will uh, arrange the elements in reverse order now we will iterate the array 
for i in range of n now we will add the cost so cost plus equals c of i multiplies m so this is the current cost and initially it will be 1 so when we are going to increment this m so for that if i plus 1 i plus 1 modulus k equals 0 means we will increment m by 1 so why I am using i plus 1 because it's traversing from 0 so if I am considering a 1 based indexing means I am just adding plus 1 to this so for this example if it reaches uh, index 2 means so the whole will be 3 so 3 modulus 3 is equal to 0 and after that I am just incrementing this by 1 and after that m will be 2 and the remaining elements like 3 into 2 will be added and uh, 1 into 2 will be added like this in this uh, example so after that we will return the cost so that is total cost so we can able to return it so the overall time complexity is uh, n log n let's track this with an example initially I will just take this array so this is the array I am going to sort it in descending order so 9 7 5 3 and 1 now I am going to add this to the cost so initially cost is 0 so I am going to add this uh, first three elements right away because uh, it won't satisfy the condition until we do that so 9 plus 7 is 16 and 16 plus 5 is 21 so far the cost is uh, so far the cost is 21 or else I will just uh, do like this 9 multiplies 1 plus 7 multiplies 1 plus 5 multiplies 1 so until now m is equal to 1 so now we are uh, having the index 2 so the total is 3 m will be incremented by 1 now for this 3 3 multiplies 2 plus 1 multiplies 2 so if you add the total cost means it will be 29 equals 29 so we have got our result I think it's pretty much clear with this example let's run the code now it passed the sample test case let's submit it yes we have solved the problem successfully if you have any other logic other than this please leave a comment below apart from that if the video is helpful to you hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe the channel and share this video to your friends if this is helpful stay tuned for the next video